we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CH2F2, which is difluoromethane. Now, carbon and fluorine are both non-metals from that side of the staircase on the periodic table. And hydrogen is also a non-metal, even though it's written over here. You just have to know that. Because these are all non-metals, that means they're going to be covalently bonded as opposed to ionically bonded. And that means they're going to share electrons instead of it being a transfer from one to the other. So we're going to have covalent bonds between the atoms. Let's figure out how many electrons we're dealing with. Carbon in group 14 brings four valence electrons. Hydrogen in group 1 brings one valence electron. But don't forget there are two of them, so one times two. And fluorine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons, but there are two of those as well. So four plus two plus 14 gives me 20 electrons total for this Lewis structure. Now, I'm gonna put my central atom in the center, that's carbon, because it can accommodate up to four bonds. Hydrogen and fluorine generally only want one bond. So carbon's in the center. I'm gonna surround it with hydrogens and fluorines. It doesn't really matter which of these I put in which place, as long as there's two of each, because it says there's two of each in the formula here. And I'm going to single bond the central atom to each of the outer atoms, because if they weren't connected, it wouldn't be a molecule. So here's what I have to start. I have two, four, six, eight electrons already dealt with. Now I need 20, and I'm going to count up to 20 by filling the octets on the outer atoms that require it. Now hydrogen is an exception to the octet rule. It follows something called the doublet rule, where it only wants two electrons around it, so they're full. Those hydrogens can't have extra electrons added to them here. Fluorine can, though. And remember, we, we have eight electrons so far. So here's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 electrons. I'm at the number that I needed in the structure. If I had extra electrons left over, which I don't, I would have dumped them on the central atom. And uh, if I didn't have enough electrons, if this wasn't enough electrons to fill these octets, I would have needed to move some around to make double and triple bonds. But that's not the case here either. This is the complete Lewis structure for difluoromethane, CH2F2. I hope it made sense. Let me know in the comments, and best of luck.